setting up the for robotic surgery. Now you saw uh, the case done yesterday, and you had a uh, the setup. Now for transoral robotic surgery, at the cost of repetition, because there are probably some more people who joined it. You need a dedicated robotic mm -hmm. theatre. You cannot have a robot being put in the ENT theatre and it can be done but it is very cumbersome. Uh, there, uh, there is a trained personnel uh, who are uh, robotic technicians. There are anesthetists who are uh, used to working with you. So it is better to have a robotic theatre where along with other specialties you also try to fit in. You ask for a day in a week when you can pull in your cases. Uh, that most of the centers will agree to. Uh, in a robotic setup, what all you have? We have the robot. We have a surgeon console, we have uh, 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 there is a cart which has the, the monitor. Now, how to put a uh, setup for toss? If you are doing toss, what you need is the surgeon, he needs, he needs to cover the head end of the table. The anesthetist, it is slightly different from other specialties, anesthetist comes to, uh, tends to come at the foot end. We did that yesterday. Then. This is the surgeon's console because at times surgeon needs to communicate here with his assistant and for TOS we need assistant. You need assistant to do suction. You need assistant who uh, can at times needs to grasp also because we probably TOS is one of the few indications where we have a single port entry. There are uh, there is a central port with a camera and there are two lateral uh, ports to a single port. So uh, you need another assistant to help you out. So with this setup, it may be slightly different for uh, thyroid things, but for TOS, this is the normal OT setup which is required. And the cart is here. So the assistant can see into the monitor which is in the cart. Now see the robotic arms. Uh, three arms, two lateral arms and the camera in the middle. We will come to the retractors, but uh, there is no other way you can do it. You cannot add another arm. Whatever assistant, your, uh, your uh, assistant has to help you out with the rest of the things. Now the camera, as I said before, the, it, it's a very good camera. I was told that even if you are not doing toss, if you, you, you use the robotic camera for other procedures also, it's an excellent camera. Uh, you have two in-line rigid telescopes. And these two telescopes, they feed two cameras, and these are viewed in two different eyepieces. And the surgeon is getting a 3D view. What you are getting here probably was a 2D view. Uh, but initial transmission days, what was being provided was 3D view, and it is a really, really panoramic view. It is like playing your 3D video games. Uh, now the surgeon's console, this is the surgeon's console. The surgeon just plays uh, in two hands. There are. Uh, there are navigation buttons here, there is a foot control and uh, you can move but you need hours of practice. It is not, uh, you have to get used to because one disadvantage as I may say of TORS is there is no tactile sensation. When you come near a vessel, there is no fingers to feel. If you are in open surgery, there is artery, there is a way your fingers are there. So here, there is no tactile sensation. For a beginner, with experience, everybody knows. But for a beginner, so you have to be very, very careful with the motions. And it needs a lot of hours of practicing. So that is why this mentorship and training for some time before somebody starts doing TORS. Now the, another very important thing for TORS is the exposure. The, there are different uh, mouth gags, there are different, uh, which we use for oral cavity, for oropharynx, it's fine. Even with the conventional, your Dingman or Boyle Davis retractor, which you use for tonsillectomy, uh, you can get adequate exposure. But for doing basal tongue work, for epiglottis, for supraglottic larynx, you need certain specialized retractors. Now, this is the FK retractor. This is marketed by Gyrus and Olympus, but now I'm told they what they have sold to Explorant. So those of you who want to buy it. Uh, and it is slightly difficult to procure in India because there are issues of supply and bulk. But this is a good retractor. You have about, uh, you have tongue blades, you have cheap retractors, and you can get a, uh, a very good exposure of this area. Yesterday, the limitation of Dr. Tamur was that the suspension system had not come with that. So we were suspending it with a 
uh, laryngoscopic suspension system, which is not adequate. You need a proper suspension system so that the whole mouth, the, uh, the whole, uh, it can be uh, hung properly. And this is the way we, uh, we try to engage this FK retract. Now the instruments normally for urology work for gastroenterology 8 mm instruments are used. But here there are specialized 5 mm instruments. And uh, these instruments they can simulate flexion, extension, pronation, supination. All the movements, possible movements of the human arm. And uh, you can see these 5 mm instruments. For any torch surgery, all of us need minimum of 2 instruments. Because the problem is these instruments have a dedicated 10 or 20 times use. 5 mm now is 20 times. But uh, the computer doesn't take it after that. So more instruments you use, especially for centers who are starting TORS and in India, the finances are also issue, the cost goes up with each excessive instrument use. So you must learn to do a surgery with two instruments. You can use more provided your patient pays for it. Uh, what the most useful instrument is probably a Maryland. The surgeon uh, will be, if, uh, this is the patient, will be on the right side of the patient because you need to create an axillary tunnel till you reach the base of the neck and which is done in a conventional way. The robot comes into play after that. And uh, anesthetist is again at the foot end or it can be on the side also. The rest of the setup is same. This is the console, the part is there. The assistant again needs to see, even the surgeon needs to see on the times. Here in uh, robotic thyroidectomies, we go to transaxillary, and normally this is the uh, this is the incision. This is the axillary incision. This is normally not done. This suffices, and you have a camera uh, camera arm and two other arms. So three arms going through the transaxillary incision. Suppose you are working on the other side, which is very difficult. Most of the indications are small nodules which are to the ipsilateral side. Then you may need this, but Normally, this is done. A tunnel is raised. You come till here, and then the uh, in the conventional way, using some specialized retractors, there is a retractor called Chung's retractor, which gives you good retraction. Then you come here, and then the robotic arms are good. Now this further shows the patient needs to be in this position, and how you give the incision and go up. So this is how the retractor in uh, the thyroidectomy is. This is the, the Tung's retractor system. So I'll stop at that.